How's it going, everybody? I'm Suburbanite Slob, and we are about to watch the Halo Infinite trailer that came out today. December Games Fest. Let's just get right into it. I'm excited about this. I've been excited about it. I watched it once today. Just so you know. So I'm not completely blind. Am I dead already? I, I must be. I mean, this is a punishment, right? Yep, this is dead. We got more of the pilot guy. No. No. No, 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 no. This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, shit. When I first watched it, it was super choppy. So I'm excited to watch it now in all its glory. God. Are they going to kill that pilot no. guy? I don't think I can handle that. I, I like this guy a lot. I can't stand this. Who you are? Breathe. No. You don't get I need to, to have a human companion. You don't get to tell me anything. We're for the entire game. Are you even listening? I count three and the aircraft. Instead of just mindless three marines, they don't even care about. We'll be safe here. Oh, I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you. Remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw Condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with a working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Now you'll be safe there in the ship Please. that just crashed, that they know crashed. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. Okay, big guy. There we go. There's the HUD. Okay, so I think you're going to look at this before. So RB on the bottom right looks like a grappling hook. Is one the cooldown then? You get one, then it cools down, you have to reload it somehow. And the assault rifle, 36 shots in the assault rifle. Or did he re he didn't reload it though, did he? So it is 60, like normal. It's a phantom looking thing going through. There's the war dog, baby. Yeah, I get in that war dog. Let me listen to it. Oh, that rev when you get in. Almost reminds me more of Forza. That little turn right there seemed technical. He didn't just turn, he kinda, he whipped it a little bit. Okay, there's the three guns, okay. So what's the big, why is there a big divide there? Is that because the ring is broken and you have to get across? How does that work? Yeah, jumping, oh my god. Warthogs are just the coolest fucking thing on the planet. He took out that those that double grenade grunt right there. That suicide grunt. Okay. There's more of a Halo Reach kind of uh kind of elite. And even the grunts see more Halo Reach. They got some kind of more automatic VR. Look at the reticule on that is crazy. And it's kind of got bloom on it too. Which I'm not crazy about. See, I like my Halo guns to be more... More of a set fire rate. So that there's no bloom. You know, don't let me fire as fast as possible and fuck up the accuracy. I'd rather the, the gun doesn't let me shoot that fast. And then it shoots the same accuracy all the time. But that gun did look cool. Also, we got what looks like more of the Halo 2 Magnum. Which I suppose is the same as like the Halo 5 Magnum. He's holding it with both hands, which tells me probably no dual wielding. Spike grenades are back. Okay. 
Looks like a phantom, but it looks like a human vehicle. It like it didn't shoot. What did that grunt latch himself like that? Is there a man cannon over there? Or some kind of grunt cannon over there? I like that. I like that three round burst carbine. So I was a big fan of the um, the storm rifle, which is fully automatic. I'm a big fan of the carbine. I like that they made more of a battle rifle out of it. Oh my god! Okay, so that's like a human version of the Mauler. Yeah, it's definitely it's got the spike on the bottom and everything. That's definitely just a Mauler. I think he's got some range on it too for a, a lot more range on the mauler. I don't like the crosshairs are a lot smaller than than usual halos. I don't know if they're doing that just for the demo to show off the graphics. They don't want the uh, UI covering everything up. That's interesting. Did he just boost right there? That's one thing I was wondering when I watched it the first time on my on my phone and it was all staggery. I didn't see too many jetpack boosts. And I don't see on the UI a button to do it. I also haven't seen any sprinting yet. Ooh, we were locked in now. Harbinger. Okay, we I think when I listened to this the first time, I heard Arbiter. To honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. But here you now stand. This the weird thing on his forehead. Last fight. A true test of legends. Our story will outlive us both. Good guy versus bad guy. Set Got it. Fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight on. You talk some shit at me. Interesting. Okay, let's do a step inside one over here now, too. How do I get over there? Is it just doing it? I think it's doing it. Oh, God. What did I do? Hold on. YouTube on Xbox. What are you doing? What are you doing, YouTube on Xbox? There we go. Look at that one. I only saw this one for about a second, too. Some fucking Mandalorian shit making the armor. Yeah, vibrate it. I mean, it seems like that could be a little smaller. And you could maybe, uh. The Mjolnir exosuit is now complete. You know, maybe you don't need that big of a room for a glove, is what I'm saying. A little smaller. Just the grapple hook. Technology will save humanity in the war to come. The grapple hook is interesting. 
So you have no boost or no sprint, you just get a grapple hook. Seems to be the idea. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction. The armor looks great, though. Armor cannot hope. I hope this is actually a part of the story, though. We need more Master Chief story. It all means nothing. Until you step inside. God damn. Okay, I'm ready for it. Let's go back to the dashboard, where I'm doing. Go back here. So I'm excited for it. I'm happy it's more open world from what we saw from the map. That it's going to be kind of open world, do what you want. Uh, that's really what I wanted from Halo Infinite. Was uh, I've been saying now, I've been play replaying Halo 2. And what really strikes me about Halo 2 is all the the loading and stuff. Of how, especially in like Metropolis where the Scarab Gun is. You can see the, the building where the Scarab Gun is. If you ever got the Scarab Gun in Halo 2 where you get the Banshee. And you had to lure the Banshee into a tunnel. And then on the other side of the tunnel, hijack the Banshee. Then you could fly to where the Scarab Gun was. But if you got on the Banshee too soon, you'd hit invisible walls. You couldn't get to that building because obviously it's just a, a set piece in the background. It's not a real building because it's not loaded that way. So for Halo to be more open world. of If I hijack a Banshee, I want to be able to fly just about wherever the hell I want. And that's what it seems like. Is just let me explore the shit out of this ring. Uh, all the weapons look cool. We didn't see any forerunners, which is great. Uh, it was interesting that the reticules were so small. I said that. The warthog looks great. The story looks great. The pilot. I'm excited to do a whole campaign with the pilot. Get to know him a little bit. Get emotionally invested in him so he can probably die. Maybe cry like a little bitch. Um, I wonder... You know, we heard... Halsey or Cortana in that that second one we watched, that teaser trailer with the armor. But I wonder how much of that is going to be in here. And how much, if we're going to get any Cortana even. If that's going to be a tease or anything. If it's just going to be about the Chief and the other guy. It's going to be weird playing Halo without Cortana in your ear though. Even though I think 5, she wasn't there much either. But Interesting. I'm fucking ready for it. Give me some more Halo. I'm hoping we get a beta soon. I like that that opened up with press X to start demo. So I hope that demo comes out soon. I was really hoping they would drop it as soon as the trailer ended. Or at least at the end of the show that the demo was playable right now. And they didn't, which sucks. I'd love to get a demo of this to see how it feels. I'm going to buy it regardless. But I also love a multiplayer beta. If they were to release the multiplayer beta on xCloud... I think that'd be freaking awesome. I don't know if their servers... That'd be a lot of load on their servers and whatnot, but I think that's that's the whole point of it. Especially if this launches... If xCloud is up and running the day of release, that's going to be a big... I mean, you get a problem with games servers crashing day one as it is, and then you you add how many other devices... You know, people are going to be playing it on their phone and over the cloud, and how does that handle is going to be interesting to see. Oh, it looks great. I think everything looks great otherwise. Great style. Story looks good. That's I mean, that's all I wanted from the campaign. Now it's just a matter of multiplayer. If we get if we get a battle royale or if it's typical arena. Or if um if they do something different with it, we'll see. And if if Forge is in there, if we get you know, are they going to bring in all the bells and whistles? Are we going to get Forge? Are we going to get Theater? You know, maybe a firefight mode, some kind of war zone. I wonder I wonder what we'll get from other Halos. Because I think that's necessary. I don't know if you can really make a, make a Halo without that at this point, without it feeling empty. But it sounds like the campaign is huge. They said after the fact that it's bigger than 4 and 5. Now, there's so much more care put in everything than 4 and 5, so I'm excited. Should be a great time. Uh, we'll be playing it all the goddamn time.
you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash suburbanitesslob, otherwise right, right here on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button here, please. It's free here. Hit the bell so you know when things up go up. Um, right now, if you want, you can watch all kinds of extra life highlights, all kinds of stream highlights, all kinds of little comedic shorts. Check it out. Try to subscribe if you can. Tell your friends. Have a good one. Finish the fight.